Thousands of pro-democracy demonstrators took to the streets of Brazil Sao Paulo on Monday, just a day after supporters of former President Jair Bolsonaro stormed the country's key institutions. The demonstrators carried signs calling for the perpetrators of Sunday's riot to be brought to justice, with one reading, quote, no amnesty for coup perpetrators, while another said, democracy forever. This demonstrator describes Sunday's attack as the worst moment in Brazil's history since the 1964 coup that established a military dictatorship. Brazil's Congress, Supreme Court and presidential offices were raided on Sunday by an angry mob smashing windows, furniture and artwork. President Lula da Silva has vowed to punish those responsible and some 1,500 people have been detained. He has also questioned why the military did nothing to discourage calls for a military coup outside their barracks. Lula holds Bolsonaro, who's currently in the US, responsible for inflaming the angry mob. Pressure is now growing on US President Joe Biden to expel him. Bolsonaro rejects Lula's accusations and was admitted to a Florida hospital on Monday suffering from intestinal pains, relating to a stabbing he suffered during the 2018 election campaign. His doctor said he has an intestinal blockage that was not serious and would not likely require surgery. Bolsonaro traveled to the US days before his term in office ended on a visa issued to heads of state, diplomats and other government officials. He faces several investigations before the Supreme Court in Brazil.